For today, we're gonna talk about one of the major electrolytes in our body, and that is sodium chloride. I'm gonna give you the most easiest way for you to remember the concept of your sodium chloride. If you wanna know more about that, stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nia Gavin. I'm a registered nurse and I do have a degree in medical surgical nursing. I create nursing educational content to help nursing students with their studies. If that's something that you are interested in, consider subscribing. If you're already a subscriber though, thank you so much for your love and support. I see you. I upload my nursing educational content two to three times in a week, so don't miss that out. Subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell so that you will be the very first to watch my newest uploads. Also, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends because that will really help me know that you like to see more contents like this. Without further do, let's jump into the video. Hello everybody! Welcome back! Nga kagaya nga nang sinabi ko sa intro, ngayong araw nga na ito ay tatalakayin natin ang about sa sodium chloride. This is going to be a thorough discussion of one of the major electrolytes in our body and I feel like creating this content to help you guys understand more about this concept. If you haven't watched the um, the very first fluid and electrolytes uh, educational content I did where I discuss about hypotonic, hypertonic, and your isotonic solution and osmosis process, those kind of stuff, you mga IV fluids mo, I'll be putting it here. You check that out. That's for you, okay? Marami pa rin akong nare-receive na mga comments and requests about sa ating fluids and electrolytes. In order for me to do that, I will need to switch back to my PC and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, hi everybody. Welcome back sa ating formal discussion ng iyong fluids and electrolytes. Yes. For today, we're going to discuss about sodium and blood. So, maalat na discussion ito, okay? Let this be your nursing guide sa pag-aaral mo ng iyong sodium and electrolytes. If you haven't watched the video na karinate ko under sa category ng fluids and electrolytes, I'll be putting it on the description box. You check that out. Check the description box for some helpful links. Now, I'm going to share to you the objectives for our today's discussion. We're going to have the overview of sodium's role in the body, the function of sodium ions, the normal values, importante yun, controlling blood volume, disorders related to sodium deficiency and toxicity, and we're going to have a short quiz, okay? Overview of sodium's role in the body. Ano nga ba ang ginagawa ng sodium sa katawan natin? Now, sodium is one of the body's electrolytes, which are minerals that the body needs in relatively large amounts. Electrolytes carry an electric charge when dissolved in body fluids such as blood. The body obtains sodium through food and drink and losses it primarily in sweat and urine, okay? Now, healthy kidneys maintain a consistent level of sodium in the body by adjusting the amount excreted in the urine. When sodium consumption and loss are not in balance, the total amount of sodium in the body is affected. The amount or concentration of sodium in the blood may be ano nga, too low, ano yun, hyponatremia, too high, or hypernatremia. Mamaya ay discuss natin yan. Now, most foods have sodium naturally in them or as an ingredient in cooking. Sodium is found in table salt as sodium chloride or in baking soda as sodium bicarbonate. Many medicines and other products also have sodium in them, including laxatives, aspirin, mouthwash, and toothpaste. Alright, so what is the function of your sodium ions? Sodium is the primary cation. Pag sinabi natin cation, ano to nurses? Positive ion. In extracellular fluids in animals and humans, these fluids such as blood, plasma, and extracellular fluids in other tissues, bait cells and carry out transport functions for nutrients and waste. Sodium is also the principal cation in seawater, although the concentration there is about 3.8 times what is normally in extracellular body fluids. Sodium regulates the total amount of water in the body, and the transmission of sodium into and out of individual cells also plays a role in critical body functions. Many processes in the body, especially in the brain, nervous system, and muscles, require electrical signals 
for communication. The movement of sodium is critical in the generation of these electrical signals. Okay, so what is the normal values? Nor says, naalala pa ba? Ang gigigilo ko sa'yo. Okay, eto na to. Normal blood sodium is 135, you guys, to 145. Tandaan mo lang, 135, 145, 135, 145, max per liter po. 135, 145. Ganun lang, paulit-ulit lang tayo, ma'am. Alam mo naman sa nursing. Ano nga ba ang ginagawa ng sodium sa pag-control ng ating blood volume o yung overall amount of blood sa ating katawan? The total amount of sodium in the body affects the amount of fluid in blood and around the cells. The body continually monitors blood volume and sodium concentration. When either becomes too high, sensors in the heart, blood vessels, and kidneys detect the increase and stimulate the kidneys to increase sodium excretion, thus returning blood volume to normal. Now, when blood volume or sodium concentration becomes too low, and then mo to, ha? the sensor triggers mechanisms to increase blood volume. These mechanisms include the following. Ito na nga siya. The kidneys stimulate the adrenal glands. Ano, stimis, ano ang ini-stimulate ng kidney? Yung adrenal glands. Ano makikita yung adrenal gland? Sa, tapa, sa tuktok lang yun ito. May adrenal gland. Nandito siya. Oh. Kapatong siya. Now, to secrete what? The hormone, what we call aldosterone. Mm-hmm. Aldosterone causes the kidneys to retain sodium and to excrete potassium. So, sodium in, potassium out. When sodium is retained, less urine is produced, eventually causing blood volume to increase. Paano to? Paano mo i- may explain to? Remember, dun sa ating very first discussion ng ating fluids and electrolytes where we discuss about hypotonic, isotonic, and hypertonic solutions. Uh, ginawa natin example si sodium. Ang sabi natin si sodium and water ay best friend yan. Sanggang dikit yan. That means wherever sodium is, water will follow. Now, the pituitary gland secretes vasopressin, sometimes called antidiuretic hormone. Naalala mo pa to, nurse? Mm, gigigil ako sa'yo. Vasopressin causes what? Kidneys to conserve water, thereby increasing blood volume. Alright? So, this is the natural phenomenon, the natural process of the body whenever there's decreased blood volume. What are the disorders related to sodium deficiencies and toxicity? Abangan nyo po yung next video natin about sa hypernatremia versus hyponatremia. I'm trying to create like a lecture about hypo-hyper. Marami kasi tayong ganun sa nursing eh. Abangan mo yon Beb, ha? Kaya naman mag-subscribe ka na. Okay, going back. So, a decreased concentration of sodium or what we called hyponatremia occurs whenever there is a relatively increase in the amount of body water related to sodium. This happens with some diseases of the liver and kidney in patients with congestive heart failure and in burn victims and in numerous other conditions. Now, ano-ano yung mga signs ng hyponatremia natin? Ito ay pahapyaw lamang po ng mga mapwede mong makita sa ating discussion ng hypo-hyper. Paano mo masasabing hyponatremia? Remember yung normal values natin? Tandaan mo to. 135 to 145 ano max per liter sodium concentration of less than 135 max per liter with severe hyponatremia being below 120 max per liter ano ano yung mga signs and symptoms mo you have nausea and vomiting headache short term memory loss confusion lethargy fatigue loss of appetite irritability muscle weakness spasms or cramps seizures and decreased con- consciousness or Pwedeng pinaka-worst coma. Hypernatremia. An increased concentration of sodium is what we call hypernatremia. Alright? It's a common electrolyte problem that is defined as a rise in serum sodium concentration to a value exceeding 145 mex per liter. Ano ano yung mga signs and symptoms mo? The major symptom is what? Thirst. Pagkauhaw. The most important signs result from brain cell shrinkage and include confusion, muscle twitching, or spasms with severe elevation, seizures, and commas may occur. Bakit nauuhaw you guys? Kasi, ibig sabihin, marami tayong, marami tayong sodium sa extracellular space. Kumpara sa sodium sa intracellular space. Naalala mo yung process ng osmosis natin? It is the movement of from lower concentration to higher concentration. Mas maraming sodium sa extracellular space. At water loves sodium. So wherever sodium is, water will follow. Okay? So pupunta lahat. 
pupunta lahat, pupunta lahat ng water mo palabas through the semi-permeable membrane sa iyong extracellular space. Ano mangyayari sa intracellular space mo? Magsishrink. Kasi wala na siyang water, ma'am. Magsishrink siya. Kaya merong dehydration, merong thirst. na uuhaw na yung cell mo. Now, ready ka na ba sa ating short quiz? I suggest you guys to pause this video for 5 minutes. I will show you the questions. Answer the 10 items questions. Once you're done, you'll resume to the video and we're gonna answer the, uh, the questions with rationale. Here's the question for you guys. Okay, let's answer the questions now. You guys ready? All right. True or false? Sodium carry an electric uh, electric charge when dissolved in body fluids such as blood. Electric charge Tao. Is it true or false? The answer is true. Perfect. The body obtains sodium through food and drinks and losses it primarily in blank and blank. Anong sagot dito? Pag may sumagot dito ng defecation and crying, gigigil ako siya. Pwede naman, may water pa rin naman doon. Pero ang key term mo dito is primarily sweat and urine. Kahit sa respiration, may, may fluid loss din dyan. Number three, true or false, sodium Found in ta is table salt. Sorry, typo. Sodium found in table salt as sodium chloride or in baking soda as sodium bicarbonate. True. Remember, sodium bicarbonate. Oh? Sodium regulates the total amount of blank in the body. What is the answer? Water. What is the normal range of sodium in blood? Ang sagot, 135. Normal values mo, 135 to 145. Sorry, excuse my penmanship. I'm really trying to get used to writing using the mouse. Number six, blank causes kidneys to retain sodium and to excrete potassium. Ano to? Aldosterone. Remember yung mechanism natin, body mechanism natin na pagkocontrol ng blood volume. True or false, vasopressin causes the kidneys to release water. Release water ba ang vasopressin or retain? Retain. So the answer is false. A nurse is attending to a newly admitted patient. She noted on her notes that the patient is having the following signs and symptoms. Nausea and vomiting, headaches, short-term memory loss, confusion, lethargy, fatigue, loss of appetite, irritability, muscle weakness, and spasms. The nurse understands that these are manifestation of what? Of what? Hyponatremia. Perfect. Now, number nine. In blank, the major sign is what? Major sign is thirst. Hypernatremia. Bakit? Nagsishrink kasi yung cell. Kasi nga, lumabas pumunta sa extracellular space. Dehydrated yung cell mo. Kaya thirst. Okay. Number 10. True or false? When blood volume or sodium concentration becomes too low, the sensor triggers mechanisms to increase blood volume. The kidneys stimulate the adrenal glands to secrete the hormones. Aldosterone. The answer is true. Alright you guys, that is the end of our discussion for today. Maraming maraming salamat. Let me know about your score. Put them down on the comment section below. Huh? Once again, thank you so much you guys for watching. I hope you learned something. Please, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel for more nursing educational videos. Let me know if you have other nursing topics that you want us to cover. Comment it down on the comment section below. And you guys, I really appreciate all of your love and support. Uh, yeah, please share my videos and um, spread the news about this uh, about my channel and about the contents that I'm creating because this is really all for you guys all the Filipino nurses especially maraming maraming salamat po sa support niyo ha I'll see you again next time you guys tandaan ito lang ang nag-iisang ito lang ang nag-iisang libre review center sa YouTube see you again next time baby thank you so much you guys for watching hope you enjoyed this one help me grow my channel you're ready here you might as well subscribe hashtag team cool talk give this video a big thumbs up and share it with your friends let me know what you guys think put them down in the comment section below also don't forget to check out the other playlists I created for you people the links on the description box or simply click this icon button right here let's connect follow me on all my other social media accounts everything is at neil gabe i'll see you again baby